Thursday, August 22, 2024. First reading. Ezekiel 36 verses 23 to 28. Thus says the Lord. I will prove the holiness of my great name. Profaned among the nations. In whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God. When in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations. Gather you from all the foreign lands. And bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you. To cleanse you from all your impurities. And from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you. Taking from your bodies your stony hearts. And giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes. Careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. A clean heart create for me, O God. And a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence. And your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Give me back the joy of your salvation. And a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways. And sinners shall return to you. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables. Saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king. Who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast. But they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying. Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed. And everything is ready, come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away. One to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants. Mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops. Destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then the king said to his servants, the feast is ready. But those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads. And invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets. And gathered all they found, bad and good alike. And the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it? That you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet. And cast him into the darkness outside. Where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> 